without further ado, I'm gonna give you my honest review. I can rhyme. Did you see that? <laughs> And today I'm here with a review for Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I was actually sent this copy in exchange for my honest review. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. So without further ado, let us get started. The book follows Enselta, who enters the city of Sin in order to find her mother, Lords, who has gone missing. Upon arriving, she meets Levi Glacier, who is a street lord who also doubles as a con man. He agrees to help find Lords in exchange for 10,000 volts, which he needs in order to get out of a risky investment that he entered with one of the Donnas of a very wealthy casino family. But when En uncovers some secrets that Lords has been keeping from her and Levi enemies catch up with him, they get an invitation to the shadow game, which is a game where nobody plays and comes out alive. I absolutely loved this book. As soon as the action started, it took off and I could not put it down. I will admit that it took a while for the action to happen, but once it did, it was non-stop entertainment for me. I really liked the magic system in this book and the idea of the talents. I thought it was a really cool concept. Basically, your last name is a form of talent, so each person has two talents. They have split talents. So for example, N's last name is Salta, and that is a dancing talent, but the place where they fall on the social ladder also depends on your last name, so Salta is one of the lower classes of dancers, and I just thought it was really interesting to see how that played out in the story. I also thought it was kind of cool how one person could be very strong in one of their talents, and then their split talent was a lot weaker than their main talent. I think that Amanda Foodie did such a good job in her like descriptions of the world. It felt like you were traveling through New Ren's with N and Levi and the whole gang and I just really liked being able to picture everything so clearly. I also really liked the writing style. It flowed very nicely and I really liked the alternating perspectives between Levi and N. I just thought the book was overall really well done in the whole writing aspect. I also just could not get enough of these characters. I honestly loved every single one of them. I found them all to be so unique unique and lovable in their own way. I loved N and how she started off as this like meek and mild prissy girl and then became such a total badass in the end. Her character development was so well done in my opinion. And then there's Levi. He's probably one of my favorite characters I have ever read. He is just such a little cinnamon roll but he cares for everybody so deeply and just I wanted to hug him all the time. Not to mention he's also black and bisexual so there's a ton of diversity in this book because other characters are also diverse, but he was the one that really stood out. Also, the hate to love trope is one of my favorite romance tropes in all books, so I was so excited about it. I mean, it was kind of obvious that it was gonna happen based off of the back of the book, but like, yes, I am here for it. I also really liked the two main villains in the story because they didn't have some like supernatural ability that made them scary. They were just scary people and I thought that it was so well done. The side characters of Jack and Lola were also really great additions to the story and I'm hoping that we see a lot more of them in the sequel of the book. I also found it really interesting how much I cared for Lords, even though she didn't have a huge aspect and part of the story, I still really wanted her to be found and for everything to work out. I was like rooting for her even though like she wasn't a huge major role. I just, I wanted her to be okay, you know? The only reason I'm giving it a 4.5 instead of the full 5 stars is because I felt that the beginning was very slow, it was very info dumpy, which like granted it was necessary for the story to make any sort of sense at all. There was a lot of information that needed to be told, but it was just too slow in my opinion, so I would wish that it had started a little sooner to get more action-packed, but once the action started, as I said before, like, five out of five stars, it was hecka good. I honestly just cannot wait for the sequel. Thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me a copy of this. I'm so excited for when it comes out. I think you should all read it. Like, I highly recommend this book. Go pick it up at your local store now because it's out, so go read it. It's so good. I will rave about this book for 
a million years to come, I'm sure. All right, guys, so that was my review for Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. Like I said, y'all should definitely check it out. It's totally worth it. I'm making my mom read it right now, and she's enjoying it. So, you know, trust Mama G. Trust me and go pick up the book. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!